The longest game in NFL history at almost 83 minutes was played Christmas Day, 1971, in Kansas City. The AFC semifinal game between the Miami Dolphins and the Chiefs seesawed back and forth till the very end. The score was tied at 24-all when, with just 35 seconds left, the Chiefs missed a field goal wide right from 31 yards. The game then moved into overtime. Finally, with 7.20 left in the second OT, the Dolphins kicked the game-winning field goal. Number eight, kicking off for the Chiefs. There's the signal, and we're ready. This will fly out of the end zone for a touchback. What a kick. The Dolphins will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Number 27 gains five on the play, and that will bring up second down. Second and five. Ball at the Dolphins, 25-yard line. Number 27 gets the call again and rambles for about five. Number 27 can thank his blockers for that last play. If it wasn't for them, that play would have tanked. A decent play, and they'll now face third and short. That's the key here. Make third down easy, and they do just that. Now they just need to convert. We'll see what they do. Number 21 gets the call on third down and converts the third First down. down First and ten. Ball at the Dolphins, 32-yard line. Number 12 really rifles this pass, and it's tipped incomplete. Number 11 managed to disrupt things. He got in there, and he smacked that pass away. Great deal. Ball at the Dolphins, 32-yard line. Number 42 pulls it in right side, and that will be a gain of three yards. Third down, empty backfield. Well, Dan, we got an empty backfield, five receivers, and the defense is in their dime. Let's watch. Number 12 sings it to the right side, and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Number 12 makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow, now that is one confident QB. A nice gain, and they easily convert on third down. Yeah, that was a good call. First and 10. Ball at the 46-yard line. Number 27 will get the handoff and passes the line. Stop at the 44. Number 58 with the tackle. Second and seven. Ball at the 44-yard line. Number 71 takes him down at the 47. Third down, one man down. Number 86 brings down the line side and is past the first with ball. daylight and touchdown number 86 is going to make the catch right there but that's only the beginning look at him chew up the yardage he'll get the touchdown and he does it in style beautiful play Here's the extra point. The extra and point is good. It's good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number nine kicks this one away. Number nine catches it back at the three. Breaks free. Locked down at the 23. Number nine got waylaid by the defense before he was able to put Munch on the run back. 
The Chiefs offense takes the field with time winding down. They'll start at their own 23 yard line. Number 44 tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Second and 10. Ball at the Chiefs 23 yard line. Good for a gain of 10 on the play. 56 with the tackle. First down, two tight ends in the game. Gets the ball again, and he stops. The clock continues to run. With the tackle. Number 13. Just this one, and the catch is made, and the clock continues to wind down. Third down, four yards to go. Ball at the Chiefs, 39 yards. Number 24 makes the first catch down to the left, and they convert on third down. First and 10. Ball at the Chiefs, 46 yard line. Number 21 is at the 45. Tackled, and the clock will continue to run. That will bring up first down. First down, two receivers to the left. Rips him down in the backfield, and the clock will continue to run. Second and 11. Ball at 39. Number 13. Rifles it out left side, and it's intercepted. Tackled at the 26. Well, it's all about getting in position to make the grab, and watch here. Oh, that's perfect position. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Dolphins start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 46. Number 27 picks up about two, and the clock will continue to run. With the tackle. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Number 86 grabs the rope right side, and they get the first on third and long. Number 86 had a defender close by, but was able to bring down the catch. It was third and long, but it didn't phase them. They moved the ball, and now they move the chain. Yeah, really nice play calling, Dan. So that'll do it for regulation time. We're going to need overtime to decide a winner in this one. It's heads. Number nine, kicking off for the belt. There's the signal, and we're ready. Number nine kicks it off to begin overtime. Number nine downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Chiefs had their last drive stall out at the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their own 20-yard line. Number 21 loses one on the play, and that brings up second down. Number 56, not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it, too. Big hit for a loss. That will be his fourth tackle of the contest. Number 13, fires this one over the middle, and it's caught for a gain of 10 on the 
play. Number 89. Threw three men on the D, but is still able to make the catch. Way to find the hole, settle in, and make a great catch. A great job to move the ball and get themselves into a third and short situation. This is a critical play for this drive. Chad Martin, and they can just fall forward and make the play. Sounds easy, Peter, but we'll see if they can pull it off. Number 21 takes it off the toss and picks up the first down. Number 89 goes in motion. Number 13 zips it to the left sideline and it's tipped. Incomplete. incomplete. Number 24 swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Number 44 That's tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Number, the Number 13 has been searching for a rhythm out there, and he's come up short, Dan. As you can see by these numbers, he's been having a rough day of it. So far, he's struggled to get 34 yards and no touchdowns. Yeah. Third down, one man down. Ball at the Chiefs, 32-yard line. Number 75 crushes him behind the line at the 31. That will bring up fourth down. Number 45, Number 45 lines formation. up for the punt. Number 83 to make the return. Number 45 gets the snap and punts it away. Number 83 fields it at the 30. Stopped at the 37. Number 83, didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Dolphins' offense will start this drive at their 37-yard line. Number 27 picks up about two, and that will bring up second down. Second down, two wideouts on the field. 39-yard line. A play in this and forces the incompletion. Number 71 got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. If complete, that would have made for a bit shorter third down play, but the defense had other ideas. The anticipation of the throw was key here. It made all the pieces fall into place. Third. Number 75 nails the offense with a huge loss. Watch how he zeroes in on the target. Ouch! Oh, he sacked him way back there. Great play. They pushed him back even farther. And Peter, could this fourth down get any longer? Well, theoretically, yeah, but it's plenty long enough already. Number one lines up to punt after the three and out. Number one gets the ball and punts it away. Number 30, Fair catches it at the 36. The Chiefs stalled early Kansas last City. drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their 36-yard line. Hugging <laughs> down at the 48, first down. Number 13, as a result of plan B on this play, that's why he gets the big box, Dan. He makes it happen no matter what. Oh, yeah, that scramble got him a nice game. You can't coach that. that that's just instinct. Number 89 goes in motion. No dice, and it falls incomplete. incomplete. Number 44 kept both Let's eyes on the, the short receivers. out on that one and Number caused the incomplete pass. The Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Humble. The Dolphins have it. Dan, this right here is a live ball, and fortunately for the defense, they grab it and gain possession. 
heads up play. Peter, there are many ways you can start a drive, but uh, a turnover is not one of them. No, definitely not. That was a big time play. The Dolphins want to capitalize on the fumble and will start this drive at the 42 yard line. Number 27 will get the carry on first down and will gain close to six. Second down, the clock is stopped at two minutes. Number 27 gains three yards, and that will bring up third down. Number 66 brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. They hold pretty from there, and they got to do it again on third and short. Number 12, look at himself on that one and made the play. That's a good call. A nice play, and with only a short distance to the first, they put it together and make it happen. Yeah, third and short always looks easy, but it's not game. That's good execution. Number 12, throws a hater right sideline, and it's complete for a gain of three yards. Number 12, made a nice throw there, got it right past Second the defender. Six. Second down, just a single receiver on the field. Number 27 gets the call on second down and heads up field. Finally stopped at the 15. It will be first down. Number 27 played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. Number 71 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That will be his fourth tackle of the contest. Second down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. Number 27 gets it snapped directly to him and takes it upfield. Number 27 gains eight yards, and that brings up third down. Number 27 goes right up the middle and gets tackled short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. Number 71 made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. The defense's back was against the wall, and they rose to the challenge, Peter. Yeah, Dan, that's great D. They had to make a stand here, and they stood together. It will be fourth down. Fourth down, and the field goal the field unit goal is on the field. Good. They take the lead. Number nine puts in an easy short one. A clean kick, no worries. What a way to end the game, and what a way to be That's a hero, Peter. Game. Fantastic oh, game. Oh, it's good to be a kicker in these situations. And that will do it for tonight's game. The Dolphins come out on top 27 to 24. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. All right, gang, great work as always. And with that, we welcome everybody back to the ESPN studios for our ESPN video games post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Dolphins stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. A slow start to the half, but things get heated up midway through the fourth. Number 86 came up with a huge play here as they cover a lot of real estate on this one. A 47-yard touchdown for the Dolphins. The Dolphins knotted up 24 all. The Chiefs with the ball at the 39. Number 41 would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. Game tied, 24 all. Number 56 would turn things around. Big shift in momentum here as he pounced on a fumble. The defense recovered. The Finns in control after a fumble recovery. Number nine turned out to be the hero as his field goal in overtime was the decider. His club pulls out a nail biter, a 25 yard field goal. And that's where we'll leave this one. Dolphins edge out a win, 27 to 24. Now let's check in with our player of the game. A guy who made one big time catch after another 
to help seal the win for his team. Number 86 was kind enough to give us a moment of his time, and he's on the field with Susie Calvert. Susie? Thanks, Chris. You really showed up today. You may have the ingredient your team needed to pull out a win here. What put you guys over the top? Our defensive guys were just animals tonight. They were all over the place, and I think they got on their heels a bit. They made things a lot easier for us on the offensive end for show. Chris, back to you. Well, that just about does it. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time here on ESPN, celebrating 25 years as the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. So long.